Island nations threatened by climate change only stand to gain from carbon reduction that could help slow the rising sea. The Maldives is a nation made up of 2,000 islands in the Indian Ocean. Barely above sea level, they could be swallowed by the ocean. John Schenk is a filmmaker who followed the country's first democratic president as he prepared to convince nations at the 2010 climate conference to reduce greenhouse gases. Here's an excerpt from Schenk's documentary, The Island President. He is one of the world's most acclaimed leaders, according to Time and Newsweek. He survived 30 years of brutal dictatorship, 18 months in solitary confinement, and years in exile. Against all odds, he returned to his country and was elected president. We thought we won the fight. We thought, look, okay, you know, we'll have a happy life. But in a country that is barely above sea level. On this corner, we've seen almost five meters of beachfront lost. He faces a challenge that could destroy his nation. If we can't stop the seas rising, global warming will destroy the motives. John Cheng joins us now on Skype to talk about climate change. Thanks for coming on Link Asia, John. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. After Doha, how much hope do you have for the Maldives? Well, you know, uh, with every passing year, um, of course, we, we move closer to, you know, what scientists describe as kind of a feedback loop cycle where, you know, the planet is harder. It's going to be going to be more and more difficult to kind of dig ourselves out of the climate crisis that, that we've gotten ourselves into. So, of course, yes, you know, since 2009, when we filmed a sheet in Copenhagen, you know, uh, you know, then on to Cancun and uh, then in South Africa and Durban, of course, this year in Doha, um, it becomes more imperative that the, you know, the world leaders step up and really do something significant to combat climate change. Um, you know, I, I really was influenced by Nasheed a lot in the sense that I really feel like we don't have much of a choice, but, you know, try to maintain our sense of optimism. And, you know, I, I do feel like, and there are obviously, there's a lot to be pessimistic about. Of course, you can go on and on about that, but there is a lot to be optimistic about as well. I think that the, the world is waking up. I think that the response to Hurricane Sandy, for example, you know, in New York and New Jersey was really pretty uh, different than other uh, natural uh, kind of hurricane events and, and, and extreme weather events. I think people are realizing more and more that that is at least in part due to climate change and that something must be done. How long do the Maldives Islands have before they disappear? Well, you know, I'm not, I don't, I'm not a climate scientist, and, and even I think climate scientists aren't sure about, you know, giving an exact date about when places like the Maldives, um, and by the way, lots of other places in the world, a lot of the coast of Florida, New York, New Jersey, Bangladesh, there's huge swaths of the world that are in trouble if the Maldives go under. You know, I think that, you know, to answer your question, Maybe uh, to simplify it, I think, you know, within 50, certainly within 100 years, um, if something isn't done, the Maldives will be in, in very serious trouble. And what's going to happen to all the people? Well, I think that, you know, when Nasheed was first elected president, one of the kind of provocative things that he said, which made him very attractive to me as a, a potential film character, is that he came right out and said, you know, by the way, you know, I've just been elected first uh the, you know, to be the first democratically elected president of this country. But, um, you know, what good is having a democracy in a country if, if my country's going to sink, you know, due to gl global sea level rise? And, and made a joke about, you know, needing a place to, to live. You know, by the way, is there a piece of land in Australia or North Dakota somewhere that we can, that we can borrow, um, you know, when, when our, our islands go underwater? But I think that Nasheed and a lot of others who talk like that have kind of walk back from that kind of position because I think that it's it's almost an impossible type, type position because th there's 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 so many people who are going to become climate refugees if indeed uh, you know we continue down the path of um, adding carbon and other greenhouse gases to our atmosphere really the only sensible choice is to try to mitigate and then obviously adapt to what we have to adapt to but really to try to mitigate the effects by um, you know, pivoting and trying to figure out, go down the path of, you know, trying to get our energy from greener sources. Thanks, John. 
John Schenk is a documentary filmmaker, and his film The Island President is available on iTunes. Now on U.S. Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.